Writing a lengthy blog post on September 6, the 84-year-old began by saying that she has been deeply moved and uplifted by all the expressions of love and support since going public about her diagnosis. Having battled cancer twice before, Jane Fonda reassured fans that this time around her disease is very treatable and she is determined to come through very well. Addressing how she is feeling just weeks after her first chemotherapy treatment, Grace and Frankie star Jane wrote, Many have asked how I am feeling. Well today, about three weeks from my first chemo session, I must tell you that I feel stronger than I have in years. The doctor told me the best antidote to the tiredness that chemotherapy can cause is to move. Walk. And I have been walking. Very early before the record heat kicks in. Also working out. Terrible when you get caught out. Karen Brady mocks Meghan Markle's Mandela comparison having built part of her career on exercise, releasing her first video Jane Fonda's workout, back in 1982, maintaining a level of physical fitness should not be a problem for the Hollywood star, even if she is in her mid-80s. Although this is evidence enough, Jane also included a YouTube video of her doing squats against a large green ball whilst holding a pair of dumbbells, proving that she is more than capable of exercising despite her diagnosis. Aware of her age, Jane also commented that she is not hoping to live for many decades after triumphing over cancer once more. She wrote, Since last week, so many people have written to me or posted that they have had this type of cancer and have been cancer-free for many decades. Joan Collins shuts down Meghan Markle after Mariah Carey's diva label swipe, Insight would have hurt a lot of people, Emily Maitlis proposed to her husband, and he said no, latest Pavarotti's fortune at death revealed millions in debt and a bitter fight over estate, revealed, well, I'll soon be 85 so I won't have to worry about many decades. One will do just fine. Moving swiftly on from her diagnosis. Jane quickly turned the conversation to her philanthropic work, explaining that she is aware that not everyone is as fortunate as her to afford high-quality healthcare in the USA. As I said in my statement last week, I am painfully aware that the top drawer treatment I receive is not something everyone in this country can count on and I consider that a travesty, she continued. It isn't fair and I will continue to fight for quality health care for all. The Barbarella star also noted that she is more determined than ever to continue her work confronting the urgent climate crisis, caused by fossil fuels and will continue to campaign for the cause even amid her ill health. Most of you know that I am focused on confronting the urgent climate crisis, caused by fossil fuels, through my ongoing work with Fire Drill Fridays, we just had our 10 millionth viewer last Friday, and my most recent work with the Jane Fonda Climate Pack, the star explained. This diagnosis has only made me more determined than ever to continue to end the deadly effects of fossil fuels. While most of us know that fossil fuels are the primary cause of the climate crisis, many may not know that fossil fuel emissions also cause cancer as well as other major health problems like birth defects, childhood leukemia, heart attacks, strokes, lung disease and preterm birth. We must find a way to come together to put an end to this deadly correlation. It does not have to be this way. We have it within our power to change this and I intend to do everything in my power to do so. This cancer will not deter me. Urging readers to visit her website Jane Pack. Come to learn and donate whatever they could, the actress finished by saying that it is all hands on deck to tackle these important issues.
The blog post was finished by Jane again showing her appreciation for all the support she has been given, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for your loving thoughts.